Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have an update on the Bitcoin price because currently we are approaching here our main support of around 11,560 and here in the one hour time frame you can see that we are coming very close also to the 200 moving average in the one hour and most of the times when all the moving averages are coming very close together we're gonna see a big move to the upside most likely but it is also possible that we're going to have a breakout here to the downside if we're going to break here this 11,560 support you also see that currently in many altcoins we are seeing a bigger correction and i think if bitcoin is going to lose here this support most of these altcoins is going to bleed even more and this is maybe a perfect buy opportunity if you plan to invest into some altcoins as well so here in the one hour time frame, you can see that Bitcoin is currently coming to the 200 moving average RSI is cooling off here. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that we are right at the bottom. So we should expect here a bounce from it pretty soon. If we are starting to lose here the support that we created, then it is very likely that we are in for a major correction. But currently we have seen now a little pullback and we are right at the bottom where we should expect here a big bounce. Also we have stochastic and also the MACD coming into oversold condition. So here we are expecting now in the next couple of hours a bounce to the upside hopefully because if we go over into the bigger time frames like here the four hour you can see that now this first four hour candle here is closing below the 20 moving average which is a bearish sign also the RSI is starting to trade below the 50 so we have to see where here we're gonna close this four hour candle if we are able again to close above 11,770 then I think we should be good to go to the upside and retest $12,100 if we are getting this close now below this 20 moving average then there is a high chance that we're gonna touch here this 11,560 support and then hopefully also bounce from it if we're gonna break it to the downside here then expect a major correction possibly down towards 10,500 even down to 10k we also had here uh, sell signals I pointed it out also in my discord trading chat so if you like to get this sell or buy signals then make sure to subscribe and register over to discord and if you want to join my trading chat you find the invitation link down below here in the video description is completely for free and everyone is uh, welcome so here based on this four hour time frame i'm expecting here a potential drop it is possible that we already have seen it because once this sell signal triggered we were right here at the 20 moving average and we already have seen a little correction to the downside so currently i'm not in a short position even though i had here this sell signal because in an uptrend i like more to look for long positions and not too short but of course if you want to do a quick nice maybe over leveraged trade then this is a perfect signal and a perfect trade because then you can open it up and after a couple of minutes or hours you can close it again and lock in some nice profits with a small trade if you use small amounts and high leverage especially here on Bybit, Femex or BTR you can do a lot of gains as well even with these small moves here. And if we open up the four hour time frame, you can see that also here now we are trading in the lower area. So here we could drop easily towards 11,550 and test again the support in case of a push to the upside. Watch out here for 11,770 and of course here $11,900 because that could signal that we immediately go up again towards 12,000 to retest the resistance. We have here the MACD now with a bearish cross and we still have a lot of room left to the downside. So it is possible that we are starting here a major correction but only if we're gonna lose the support of 11,560 stochastic is also shifted to the downside but it's already coming very close into oversold condition so also here I'm expecting maybe in the next couple of hours some volatility to the upside and downside if we're not able to close this four hour candle now again above 11,770 so above the 20 moving average I think we are in for a potential bigger correction so watch out in case that you're still longing always put a stop loss or at least an order right before liquidation price and now let's go over into the daily time frame 
because here if we zoom out we can see clearly that Bitcoin is still in an uptrend and in an uptrend you don't want to look for shorts you want to look for long so I'm still preparing my longs down at around 10k possibly even lower towards uh, where the CME gaps are lining up if we go here into the CME chart you can see here we have still this big gap lining up here at $9,600 there I'm gonna stack in some nice long positions and also buy back in with everything that I took a bit of profit profits on the way up here uh, because if this is gonna fail here if this ascending triangle is gonna fail then watch out for these moving averages here between the 20 daily which is currently at 11,000 even down here towards 10k at the 50 and the worst case if we're dropping down towards $8,900 where the 200 daily moving average is lining up because don't forget we are still very overbought here also in the RSI here in the daily we had here a sell signal in my indicator once we had this major dump here and as you can see also here we are quite over bought and if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band here we still have some room left to the upside so here we can go easily towards $12,600 we have the stochastic coming down in oversold condition which is very good and indicate of a possible big breakout here to the upside the problem is only here the MACD it's uh, looking toppy and we could have here a bearish cross pretty soon if we're gonna drop further down so if we're gonna lose this 11,560 support most likely here also we're gonna create a bearish cross in the MACD and this could indicate that we're gonna definitely start this cool off here bring down the RSI everything here all in the daily time frame and then bounce somewhere at around 10k and uh, start the next big move to possibly also break $12,000 but currently we're still in our potential ascending triangle so in theory we should expect your breakout to the upside at least towards 14,000 if not even 16,000 this is my bullish target for this uh, rise up that we had here and for this uh, push towards our bullish targets before potentially a bigger correction so we have to see where we're gonna break out right now currently we are still in this ascending triangle we can also have a look here quickly in the weekly time frame because the bigger time frames are looking very very bullish so if we're gonna have a major correction it's gonna be really short lift so that's why you should be ready already now open up your account on Bybit, Femex and BTR to find all the links down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up bonus and of course all you support the channel so with my links down below here in all of these exchanges which I'm also using you can get some sign up bonus while trading and then all of them you can also buy cryptos with credit card for example and of course trade you can go long you can go short with the leverage so here you can do the biggest gains while trading and in the weekly you can also see that we are still having very bullish signs here I even had here a buy signal once we bounced here from the 20 weekly moving average so also here it looks like that we could have a correction down here towards the 20 weekly moving average at $9,600 and then continue here the bull run we have also the RSI currently in overbought condition and if we have a look here in the Bollinger Band also here we are looking quite toppy RSI, MACD and Stochastic all three indicators in very overbought condition so the weekly is looking like that it wants to take here maybe a breather before continue the push to the upside but the bigger time frames are looking really great and you can even go into the monthly everything is still looking great for the long term so bitcoin is about to explode quite hard even though a possible correction is still in the cards if you look here into the lower time frames so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget subscribe here to the channel join my discord trading chat and also the live streams over on twitch don't forget to participate on our 10 dollars worth of bitcoin the subscription video is popping up at the end of this video so click there put any comment you want leave your bitcoin address and we're gonna select the winner at the end of this week so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye